Hello, this is Andrea and I have a secret to tell you. Did you know that Asia is the biggest continent in the world and the home of many ancient civilizations? Yes, you heard it right. And among the many civilizations that flourish, India, China, and Malaysia stood out in the field of science, technology, and mathematics. Tama ka din si Mars. The Indo civilization, or also known as Harpas, created sculpture, seals, batteries, and jewelries from materials such as terracotta, metal, and stone. Speaking of construction materials, most houses of Indo Valley were made from mud, dried mud bricks, or clay bricks of a standardized size. The urban areas of the Indo Valley civilization included public and private baths. Many of the buildings at Mohenjo-daro had two or more stories, and they also had a sophisticated drainage system to dispose waste materials out of town. And in the present times, the Indians creatively developed manufacturing iron and metallurgical works. Sounds amazing, right? But, have you heard about the Chinese civilization? Chinese were known to develop many tools, and among their famous interventions were compass, gunpowder, paper making, and printing tools that only famous by the end of Middle Ages. In addition to that, the ancient Chinese also invented counting and timekeeping devices, which facilitated mathematical and astronomical observations. Shadow clocks and the forerunners of the sundial first appeared in China about 4,000 years ago while the abacus was invented in China sometime between 1,000 BCE and 500 BCE. Are you looking for Malaysia? Malaysia is one of the world's largest exporter of semiconductor devices, electrical goods, information and communication technology products. Facts about Malaysia Did you know that the Malaysian farmers were the first one to practice slash and burn agriculture? Yes, we owe it to them. They cleared an area of the rainforest by burning it, then grew crops. After a few years, the land would be exhausted and the farmers would clear a new area. However, within a few years, the old area would become covered in vegetation and would become fertile again. Wow, cool! Now let's take a look at the present times. What do you think is the importance of the scientific revolution? The scientific revolution laid the foundation for the Age of Enlightenment, which centered on reason as the primary source of authority and legitimacy and emphasize the importance of scientific method. In short, human development cannot progress without it. A lasting impact is evident within the society today. Science is clearly emphasized in schooling and STEM continues to progress. While the thinkers of the revolutions directly challenge the findings of the church, their motivations allows the religion and the science to coexist today. Scientific revolution made life easier and more comfortable for humans. It enabled us to save both time and money, open up new perspectives of understanding, aid in the advancement of the field of education, and contribute to the development of treatment and therapeutic equipment. Science is also used in manufacturing to design new products, improve the efficiency of production processes, and investigate the environmental impact of manufacturing, and most importantly, it is used in environmental protection to study the impact of human activity on the environment, develop new methods of cleaning up polluted areas, and develop strategies for long-term development. If this is true, can you name top three leading countries in terms of science and technology? On our top one, we have Japan. It produces advances in automotive engines, television display technology, video games, and optical clocks and many other fields which have a big impact on the Asian scientific revolution. Especially today because transportation and communication became easier, faster, and more reliable. Of course, China comes next. It has made rapid advances in areas such as education, infrastructure, high-tech manufacturing, academic publishing, patents, and commercial application, and in some areas, by some measures, a world leader. Top 
country will be Korea. It has the third most broadband internet users among the OECD countries and is a global leader in electronics, digital displays, semiconductor devices, and mobile phones. I hope you guys learned something from us today. Until next time! Bye!